folks, Steve here with Synthro Tech, and um, I, as I always say, as always, we've got new products that are going to tickle your fancy here. Uh, today, we are showing off a great new product that we have, which is called the Verb, and as you can guess, it is a reverb module, and it is uh, it's it's right here in the rack here, um, and it is pretty darn unique and pretty cool. It is a 3PT2399 design, so kind of fits into that 16-bit PT2399 category. And um, it's, it's, it's really cool and really interesting for a couple of reasons. And let me, uh, let me show you the controls. Let me just unplug a couple things here real quick. Um, we have on here, we have, lo and behold here, an input jack, believe it or not. We have a modulation input that is really interesting. And we have a mix pot, which is kind of new for our series of PT products. And of course we have an output because you want to hear what things sound like. Uh, the mix is cool because it goes kind of up to audio rate too. So you can get some interesting um, kind of high frequency FM kind of modulation stuff. And the modulation input is amazing for kind of pitch bending. So it's got a real horror OST kind of vibe, as well as um, just, just, you know, kind of an old tape broken cap stand kind of stuff. So anyway, let's just kind of go through it and hear what it sounds like. So um, first and foremost, I've got this little patch that I've developed here with my MST System 104. And uh, if you guys don't know about the System 104, or any of the MST products, they are an amazing system, all designed by George Matson and Scott Rice of Division 6, and it's all classic, analog, beautiful synthesis, something similar that you'd get probably in the 70s. Anyway, it sounds awesome, all analog. Again, anyway, just a plug for that. But we put the verb in here because um, I really feel like the reverb takes it to a whole new level. So. Okay, what we have here is we have the output of our low pass filter, which has got a couple of the VCOs in action. And I'm gonna turn this up into our mix. Okay, you can hear a little bit of that reverb already. So you can just kind of hear, there's two different oscillators going, two different melodies happening at the same time here. Um, let's see kind of how this works. If we, um, it's got a level pot on there. And the, the verb having a level pot is unique. Okay, so what we've discovered in this circuit is that if we give it too much juice with a quiet signal, it actually kind of goes into too much feedback and kind of distorts. So we put a level pot on here to allow you to choose what kind of level you want. If you want to blast it out and get some of that distortion, fantastic. If not, you're going to have to kind of dial it into taste. And I really feel like it, 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 it works great, especially in combination with the mix, and you'll kind of see how that sounds. So let's just turn it up. This is with the mix all the way dry. So as I turn up, you're gonna kind of hear some clipping as I go past a certain point. Well, you probably didn't hear any clipping there, but bottom line is, is it will clip depending on what's all going in there. So you can control how much you want to bring in. Now you may want a low amount of level coming in and a high amount of mixing that reverb in. Which is going to give you more, you know, kind of a cathedral, kind of a sound. Let's break that out a little bit. Just put a little bit of mix in the reverb and turn up the level. So if you don't want that in as much and you want to hear more of your input signal front and center, there's just you just kind of do that by taste and it really varies on what it sounds like and you can get a, a range that you like. So let's bring this back down the level because if I turn the mix up, it will also distort easier. So let me just crank it so you can hear what that sounds like. Okay, so what's kind of cool about this too is you can manually adjust the modulation input. Let's turn the mix up a little bit and you'll kind of hear what I'm talking about. If we just touch this modulation up, you'll hear it change.
You can kind of hear a subtle bend. I'm going to bring a static oscillation in here so we can hear the bend a little better. So again, that's pretty subtle there when we just turn the knob, but let me bring in some, um, an LFO. And I think you're gonna be able to get a better understanding of how this modulation works. Bring it into the mix. Or, excuse me, modulation. Okay, and the, and the, the LFO is the MST VC LFO, and it's, it's being CV controlled, so the rate isn't exactly, um, static. So let me let me speed up this rate so you can kind of hear that a little better. And it's going to become more apparent the more mix I have in here. Let me slow it down. Kind of hear those subtle pitch bends, um, which is cool. I'll obviously, you can back in the level to hear even that a little bit more, more of that cathedral-like reverb kind of coming in and being modulated. I'm also going to back off the low-pass filter a little bit here to the cutoff. Let that be modulated. Okay, again, let's take the mix all the way out. And this is just your static si signal. And of course, you can just boost that normal level. But I think it really shines here when we bring in some modulation. And again, again, you can just have a little bit in there. Just kind of if you want just a, a little bit of reverb. Of course, you can make it kind of really come through. Okay, let's unplug the modulation. You don't have to have modulation, of course. You can just have a real a little subtle amount of reverb if that's what you want. Um, right now I'm gonna bring in that same LFO into the mix input, mix CV input. And I'm gonna bring this all the way dry. And I'm gonna bring this into And that's that same LFO, so let's start turning this up to see what we got here. I said it goes really fast too so you get kind of this rhythmic LFO happening which can give you some really interesting things let's make it go really fast modulation and the mix happening at the same time with the same LFO and pitching and mixing at the same time. Speeding it up. Bring that drone back. 
back in. So of course, as you can see, you can get a lot of interesting effects out of this guy. Of course, it's going to be a kit, PCB panel, and completed. And um, it's, it's going to be out here um, coming out March 31st. Thanks for checking it out. Mm -hmm.